Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. In this short video, I wanted to talk about our project's interface. For example, let us take a look at the portfolio page of a particular student. Now here I have Rohan. So if I click on Rohan's name, it's going to take me to his portfolio page. So here Rohan has a short bio about himself, but then after that, it's full of the technical content that he has managed to develop over the last three, four months. All right, so now let's just click on a particular project. Now here, Rohan has basically used the math toolbox that we provide to write down equations very carefully, writing down the Taylor table, forming the final matrix, and then he does it for different discretization schemes, eventually writing a MATLAB code, and then creating a plot where he is showing the truncation error as a function of the grid size on a log log plot. Projects like this can be extremely useful for those who are interested in pursuing their higher education in the US. And if you're looking for a full-time opportunity, you can use this technical portfolio page to attract recruiters. Now, you need to remember that each and every assignment is converted to a project. Now, this might not be desirable, especially if the project or assignment is too simple. So what you can do is you can click on your profile icon, click on manage content. Once you do that, any projects or any assignments that you think is too simple in your portfolio, you can just click on this little I button and that's going to unpublish the project. So this is a very easy and nice way to control the visibility of your project to the public. And any project that you're really proud of, make sure that it is visible. And finally, the best part is if I go back, I'm going to get this particular link. So this link is for Rohan. So Rohan can basically share this with professors in the US or with potential recruiters to unlock new opportunities. I hope you guys also do the same and get benefited. Thank you so much. Bye.